honestly, I think we were all pretty low on him for the most part, and that's Austin Meadows. Um, I mean, in terms of just what we've expected from him when he was in, in Tampa, uh, our predictions had him at a 1.8 war, 16 home runs, uh, 720 OPS, and a 104 WRC+. Plus. Um, does anyone want to share their thoughts first on what to expect from Meadows? Maybe he gets some play at DH. Uh, I, spe- I think if Carpenter doesn't really take that job, I think he could play some DH this year. Um, I, yeah, why do you think everyone is a little down on him? I mean, uh, pretty much all of our predictions were pretty much around the same, you know, low low 700s OPS, about 15 home runs, you know, not the player we thought we were getting when we traded for him. Well, uh, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Nobody went out on a limb and said the 33 home run Austin Meadows is coming back. Uh, so, um, you know, you look at the OPSs, for instance, that year he had 33 homers. I think he had an OPS around 922 or something like that. Um, but even the year he had 27 homers and knocked in 104, his OPS really wasn't all that impressive. It was around 7, I don't know, 730-ish. Uh, I'm going from memory. Uh, so he's shown over a full season that he can be in that, you know, seven mid-700 range. Uh, he's not. A, he wasn't an automatic 800 plus OPS guy in Tampa. He just had that one big year. Um, I think the biggest reason everybody's down is we just haven't seen him. I mean, he when he did play last year, he put up no power. Uh, then he was gone. Uh, now he started again this year. He's shown no power. Uh, at some point, is he going to turn that on? It's hard to say. The combination of what he looked like last year when he was healthy how long he wasn't healthy last year and, and what he's looked like so far this spring. I've got, I was just looking at uh, the, the average exit velocity for Tigers hitters this spring, um, which doesn't necessarily tell you much, but uh, it's, it's a thing. And he is 15th out of 20 at 87 miles per hour. It's he's down I'm trying to see who's, who's he next to. Uh, he's next to Maton and Jonathan Davis and below Andrew Knapp. Um, all it takes, all it takes, is a couple hard hit balls to fix that. But we just like it, it, it just we haven't seen it yet. So I'm kind of, I'd love to go in there and say, yeah, he's going to hit 25, 30 bombs. But I'm just kind of hedging my bets there. That like, I feel like after getting absolutely nothing from him last year, like 15, 16, 17 home runs would feel pretty good, I guess. But uh, maybe that's just because my expectations have been lowered so much. 